Okay, let me know that to so that people don't say feel scared. It, let me put it like this: that we are we are in between two kingdoms. Even Galatians five even said this: that the kingdom of the flesh, which is the kingdom of darkness, is contending against the kingdom of light, or kingdom of uh, the spirit, and the spirit is contending. So there are two kingdoms. Now this is not, man is not even involved. Now two kingdoms just contending between each other. Then what did he say? He says so that you, which is us, man, should not do what the other wants it to do. So the kingdom of darkness doesn't want us to do what the kingdom of light is. The kingdom of light doesn't want us to do. So we are in between. And the funny thing is that as much as they are contending, it is our decision to partner with any of them. That's when the effect of that kingdom is, is being seen in our lives. What I mean is this. I have to decide. I have to subject myself to any of this kingdom in order for their realities, in order for... Um, the things of that kingdom to be seen in my life so i can say okay now i, I don't want to go to the way go go with the ways of god i want to go with the ways of the devil and i do what the devil wants begin to begin to go after my lust everything that just every every lust the devil can can bring in me i go after it and when i go after it you begin to see the things that is of the kingdom of the devil in your life do you know that the devil has made many to live their destiny and their vision for their life by opening doors for them doors of influence of fame of wealth of money so the devil gave them like what is see, look look at what the temptations if we understand the kind of temptations that the devil gave to jesus himself we, we would have a, a sense of soberness towards the things of this world we'll have a sense of 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 self-absorption you know we won't be so charged towards it because it, the devil gave Jesus, the, he promised him, or even he gave him, and Jesus did not say it doesn't belong to him. Jesus never said so. So the devil can give you wealth, give you everything, give you the finest of things. That's the finest of things you, you can ever imagine. But the greatest thing that is after is your soul, because it's within our soul we used to know God. He wants to take that place in your heart where He becomes the Lord and the controlling force of your life. So it's a decision. That's why I use the word pay the price. Pay the price to know God. Pay is like because it 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 will it would it would take so much of of it would take so much of of your of your of of how do I say this now? It would take so much of your will.